Congratulations! You have just taken a step that will save you time and money. The Gondola Train is the most efficient store fixture moving system available. With a minimal amount of work and just six to eight people, you can move an entire 10,000 square foot store in about eight hours. But before you begin using your gondola train, we would like to give you some moving tips on how to best use this system and some important safety reminders. The gondola train is intended to move stable gondola systems only. Do not move wall sections or gondola sections with a height to base ratio greater than six to one. Your gondola train kit includes gondola rollers, gondola lever handles, rail hold down clips, instructional video or CD, various specification charts, and an instruction manual. Some additional items you will need to supply for an easy move include a tape measure, masking tape, magic marker, magnetic level, 7 8 inch wrench, bungee cords, crowbar, number 10 bolts and nuts, stove bolts and fender washers, and a scraper. Before starting your move, it will be necessary to complete some preparation work to make your move go smooth and quickly. It is a good idea to have all the following steps completed by the day before the move. First, be sure that your floor and the wheels of your gondola rollers are free of dirt and debris. Clean floors and dirt-free wheels will make for a smooth move. Removing the base kick plates and sweeping under the gondolas will definitely speed up the moving day process. Be sure to replace the kick plates as you finish cleaning under each gondola section. Second, prepare a detailed fixture floor plan, indicating the final position of the gondolas that are to be moved. Assign a number to each of the gondolas on the plan. Third, using the tape, number the gondolas according to the new floor plan. Fourth, again, using the tape, number the floor according to your floor plan to identify the final location of where the gondolas will be positioned. This will ensure the proper placement of the gondola unit. Fifth, analyze the position of the present gondolas and determine what will be the most efficient sequence of movements of the gondolas to their final position. For large gondola runs, it may be necessary to break the gondola into one or more sections to facilitate the move. To break the large gondola run into sections, determine the location at where to split the run. Demerchandise both sides of the gondola in this location and remove the shelves, decks, rails, and backs. Sixth, bolt through the pegboards that support heavily pegged items with stove bolts and fender washers. This will prevent the pegboard from coming out of its tracks. Seventh, using the number 10 bolts and nuts, bolt the topmost continuous row of shelving together through the holes on the front of the shelf bracket. This will reduce upright misalignment and keep the gondola run stable during the move. If a continuous row of shelving does not exist, add shelves as necessary to complete the row. Eighth, determine the load on your gondola section. If necessary, remove merchandise to be in accordance with the load chart included with your gondola train. If you need to remove merchandise, begin unloading from the top shelves first. This will lower the center of gravity and make the gondola more stable during the move. Step one, secure all loose items and remove high items to prevent them from falling. Step two, remove the upright top caps and install the hairpin in top of the uprights. To install the hairpin, loosen the top nut. Slide the hairpin down inside the uprights until it snaps into place. Install the hairpin plate above the top rail at each upright. 
Secure the plates in place by engaging the knob through the plate into the hold down clip. Step 3. Lay out the gondola rollers in front of the gondola to be moved. A move will require one gondola roller under each end of the unit and one under every other section in between. Step 4. Use the optional kick plate handle to remove base kick plates and base end caps as you proceed. This enables you to reach the base brackets under the shelves. Do not remove more than three base kick plates at a time. If you have the open base front style kick plate, use the gondola handle to raise the kick plate up until it touches the bottom of the base deck shelf. Removal of this style of kick plate is not required. Step 5. To use the gondola handle, insert the cross pipe into the conduit hole of the base bracket. This enables you to raise or lower the gondola. If the base bracket does not have a hole available, you can use the tip under the base bracket to do the same. We strongly recommend using the conduit hole when available. When raising the gondola, it is very important to raise the heavy side of the shelving unit first. Raising the heavy side of the shelving first will ensure that the gondola will not tip. When raising the gondola, refer to the maximum handle weight column in the gondola load handle pressure chart included with your gondola train. This chart will have the maximum weight guidelines to be applied to the handle. It is very important to follow these weight guidelines. If you are unable to raise the gondola, remove the front facings of product to lower the weight. Always make sure to leave weight on the base shelf for stability. If you have new floors, we recommend that you place a small piece of carpet or cardboard under the gondola handle fulcrum point to avoid any possible damage to the floor. Be careful not to raise the gondola more than one and one half inches off the floor. This will prevent overturning and avoid instability. Step six, place the rollers underneath the gondola section. Always be sure to carefully place your fingers under the roller frame as you locate it under the gondola to avoid pinching. Remember, always raise the heavy side first. After placing the rollers under the gondola, use a 7 8 inch wrench to raise the leveling screws on the base bracket and uprights so they do not touch the floor during the move. If using full panel kick plates, reinstall to strengthen the gondola for the move. Step 7. Now you are ready to position your co-workers into place. The length and weight of your gondola unit will determine the number of people needed to move it. On average, four people are required per 24 feet of gondola. Give the gondola a short push at a 45 degree angle before heading to the new location on the floor plan. Be sure to push at a low point on the gondola unit. If moving on carpet, use the optional carpet wheel handle to turn all wheels 45 degrees to match the direction that the gondola will initially be moved. Again, push at a lower point on the gondola. Doing this will help keep stress on the gondola fixture at a minimum. If moving units over a lip of new tile, place a scrap strip of tile down or a 1 8 inch flat steel stock where the gondola unit will cross or jump up on the new tile. Moving the gondola unit at a 45 degree angle will reduce the impact of having two wheels contact the new tile lip simultaneously. Step 8. Move the gondola unit to the desired location. Line up with your preset marks. It is important this time to lower the light side down first and the heavy side down last. If using full panel kick plates, remove and reinstall kick plates as you proceed. If you have a large run of gondola that you split into multiple sections during preparations, align the sections and reinstall the disassembled components prior to setting the gondola down. Step 9. Level the gondola. At all times, 
make sure to level the gondolas as their manufacturer requires. If using full panel kick plates, remove and reinstall kick plates as you proceed during the leveling process. Step 10. Remove the hairpins and other hardware used to tie the sections together. To remove rail hold-down clips, slightly loosen the top nut. Turn the top hold-down plate counterclockwise and lift out. Now, we would like to give you some additional suggestions to help make your move easier. First, you may find it helpful to use a mobile 8 to 12 foot section of gondola to hold items or merchandise that are removed from the fixture units. Second, make sure all high and heavy items are secured or removed before moving. Third, always lift the heavy side of your gondola first and set it down last. Fourth, never lift the gondola more than one and one half inches off the ground. Fifth, be sure to keep the wheels of the gondola rollers and floor clean for maximum efficiency. Sixth, for optimum performance and safety, use the gondola load handle pressure chart when using the gondola lever handles. Now let's take a quick recap of how to use your gondola train. By following these simple directions and safety procedures, you will find your gondola train to be an efficient and effective tool in moving your store fixtures. Thank you for using the gondola train.